Good afternoon everybody, this is Ben back again, and now it's time for another comparison video on here. Um, I know I hadn't uploaded anything in like, you know, a month, but, um, but that's okay. Um, anyways, um, I'm back for another comparison video, like I said, in which this time I'm going to compare two different versions of Deep Impact. Of course, on the left is the 1998 VHS, and on the right is the, the DVD from, uh, the mid-2000s. Uh, I'm not sure what date though, but I know it's from the mid 2000s. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? First up, as you know, this is the tape. Which this I got the Salvation Army in Southfield back. Um, uh, one of the many times I I, I think back in like, uh, I know it was like mid to late 2018, but I can't remember the exact time it was. Um, um, but that's okay. Of course, this is the front of it, of course. You got the side, the other side, the top, and the back. A Thriller with Brains by Gene Shell of Today and 500 Billion Tons of Fun by Jimmy Bernard of Daily News. Yep. This has an all-star cast. Uh, Robert Duvall, Tia Leone, Elijah Wood, Vanessa Redgrave, Maximilian Shell, and Morgan Freeman. Of course, um, oh, uh, uh, Jeff Craig, a 60 second preview, also calls this a gun wrenching, eye opening blast of a movie experience. Um, I haven't really seen much of this film. I've only seen, like, the, uh, bits and pieces of this film, like, back in the day when I was a kid. Um, I mean, I know it's PG 13, but, um, me and my brother were, like, into these kind of, well, we watched it on the DVD, but. We were like into these kinds of movies, like disaster movies, and this was one of the ones we watched. Um, the only part that I remember from this film so far is the well. This this is a spoiler for those who've never seen this movie, but the only part that I kind I remember from this film is like the 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 scene when the the meteor uh, crashes Earth and it causes that giant tsunami that wipes out New York City and other cities, well mainly New York. Um, that's like the only part of this movie that I can remember, um, and bits of the ending here or there, and I guess bits before that, like the beginning, but overall I haven't really, um, seen much of this film, but maybe someday though, if I can, maybe I'll give this a watch, see how I, see, see what I really think of it, but anyways, we got the sticker label, and no print date, so there you go, that's the VHS of Deep Impact, um, this tape, um, this tape, um, it opens with a couple of promos, one for the, uh, it's like a, uh, like a, um, uh, not sure how to describe it, it's like a everyone needs your hero thing, it's like the main characters of, like, action, uh, like, male characters from, like, action movies or war films, like, that kind of promo, like, from ones that were previously released. Like uh, Apocalypse Now and Days of Thunder and Clean and Present Danger and all that stuff. And then also as a promo for the Star Trek collection. Uh, which were the, uh, like the TV shows. Like the different, you know, Star Trek shows. And also the, the previous, the previous eight movies that were released. Or no, six movies that were released. Um, like the Star Trek collection. And then it has the feature presentation logo, the warning screen. The format screen, the Paramount Pictures logo, the DreamWorks Pictures logo, and then the film. This film is also, uh, this movie is also known to be the very first movie that Paramount and DreamWorks, uh, worked together on the film. But this wasn't the, this wasn't the, this was the first one, but it wasn't the only one that they released in 1998. Because two months later, um, this film came out in May 1998 in theaters, um, the two months later after this film was released, uh, Saving Private Ryan came out, and that film, uh, cause on this film, Paramount has the U.S. rights and DreamWorks does, did it internationally, but on Saving Private Ryan, uh, as you know, DreamWorks did the U.S. distribution for that film, and Paramount did it internationally, so it's like vice versa, you know, because of this, you know, you know, two movies released the same year and swapped distributors, distributors, um, um, so yeah, but of course, nowadays though, it's kind of pretty much obsolete because as you know, Paramount, a lot, all of the live action DreamWorks movies that were released both domestically and worldwide, um, 
nowadays Paramount, as you know, now owns all the rights to those films, like for current home video releases, like Blu-ray and later DVD releases. And so Paramount pretty much now owns the rights to this movie internationally. Um, since DreamWorks originally released this internationally, they now release the, now have the international rights. And same with Private Ryan, they now have the U.S. rights for that film. Since DreamWorks originally did it here in the States, Paramount has the, now has the rights here in America for the current releases. Um, but anyways, um, so yeah, now that's it for the tape, so now we're going to go on to the DVD. This I have for years in my collection, a thriller with, oh no, I think it's the same one that's on the back of the VHS, but this is on the front this time. It's in widescreen, special collector's edition, at the side. In the back, special features include commentary with director Mimi Leder and visual effects supervisor Scott Farrer preparing for the end, making an impact, creating the perfect traffic jam, parting thoughts, photo gallery, teaser trailers, theatrical trailers, and then the specifications, the widescreen, uh, Dolby Digital, English, and French 5.1 surround, and English Dolby surround, and subtitles, and exhilarating by Jeffrey Lines of NBC TV. Of course, uh, Mimi Leder, um, I think that's how you say his name, he also did The Peacemaker, which came out before this movie. Um, and, it, and that film was also the very first DreamWorks movie, by the way, uh, ever released, as you know. So, so that's the back. This is a 2004 DVD release, okay? No guide, but got the disc with the movie. It has the same artwork as on the VHS. And also on the poster as well, but... So there you go. That is it for my comparison of two different versions of Deep Impact. And I'll see you again uh, some other time. I'm, I'm, a I'm actually playing a another comparison video on another one of my movies, like by the end of the month. So, so I will see you again uh, when I do that soon. So, um, so there you go. That's that.